Hey, it's me, Fury, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. Here we are at Kirkwall Gallows, and we're trying to get um, into the city. And also we have Uncle? Was it Uncle? Gamelin or something here? Tell me, um, how did your family escape Lothering? Almost everyone who hadn't fled. My older sister. If she wasn't with us, I don't think we'd be here. But you seem quite skilled as well. I'm not my sister. Look at me. You. Oh, the yeah. The has been sealed. You cannot enter. Yeah, whatever. I think otherwise. Here we are. Hello, We're Captain Ewald. I want in. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We pay good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. Mm. One of the guards said you were letting in people who have business in the city. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we've got family here. I've heard claims like that a thousand times already. Trust me. No, we'll find we some actually ships do. to take you all back to Ferelden eventually. Until then, you stay here. Our uncle is Gamlin Amel. He knows we're coming. Surely someone could find him. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. <laughs> Our family has an estate. Yep. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days. They just got here. That's it. We're carving our way out of here. Men! All right. No. All right. Nice. Lower them up a little bit. I'm, I'm feeling mighty powerful, actually. I just down a lot of faults. No healing! That's not fair, game. That's cheating. Yeah, I feel I'm mighty powerful all of a sudden. I wasn't this good back there. Nice. Unbelievable. <laughs> Captain, are you alright? I am, no thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. Thank you. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not... Wait. I think someone's coming. Leandra! Damn girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it. And drastic guide her. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. 
Oh boy. I'm more concerned about Mother. Can you get her in at least? No. We stay together. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. You've been drinking the grease. What about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Oh boy. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. Oh, wow. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. Lowtown. Makes me think like Lowtown makes me immediately think Blight Town from Dark Souls. <laughs> nice place there. All right, sounds like fun. Let's hear it, Uncle. What do you have in mind? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. So isn't that like indentured servitude or something? We're gonna be either um, serving food or stripping. Hmm. All right. We cut down dozens of darkspawn and an ogre to get here. That has to count for something. Unless you brought an ogre's head along on the boat, I doubt it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Thenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What do you think about this, Carver? What can I say? Better here than nowhere. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. Great. Oh yeah, uh, did I get anything? I just... New stuff. Amulet? What's for health? I don't... That's all. Okay. Okay. I've already told you. I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city, I could get three times that price. Yeah. <sighs> Myron. Your business is done. But... Oh. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? She didn't seem very happy with the deal you made. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Buy every piece of furniture these people dragged with them? You mean people like us? Of course. Uh, my apologies. My point is that I'm running a business, not a charitable order. I'm sorry. I imagine the profits help with the guilt. They're not even sorry. I didn't think there'd be any stores here in the fortress. There are many merchants who come here right now who can't afford the bribes to enter the city. So the Templars suggested having someone set up shop, temporarily. <laughs> and I am the lucky man. 
You mean you paid your own bribes to be here? If they allowed everyone to set up shop, this place would turn into a bazaar. Sadly, there's only so much I can do for those Ferelden's poor sods. Pizza. I'm sure you're very broken up over it. Mm -hmm. uh, I meant you. Uh, folks like yourself. <clears throat> All right. I don't need anything. As you wish, Sarah. All right. Hello, you have some work for me? Are you a Senrel? You must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. Uh, how much exactly? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pots. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. Begging and taking your pick never went hand in hand. Hmm. <sighs> How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. All right. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars. So they let him set up his little shop here in the gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. All right, so it's just that guy was just talking with this dude. I think I'll be very happy to do that, but I also kind of want to talk with the other guys. This guy, what do you want? Mirren. And you must be Hawk. Nice. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. I'd like to know more about you first. Right. You're not a marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for and keep our noses clean. But anyone screws with us, we mess them up. Makes sense. Makes sense. All I know is if we join the company, I'm going to start talking like that. My uncle doesn't seem like the sort to hang out with mercenaries. He doesn't. Gamlin cheated one of my men at a wallet match. You wow. turn out, we'll call it even. Wow, my uncle is such a great person. So what do you want? I'm ready to prove myself. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Gave us bad info. Almost killed my men. Now he's hiding out here, waiting for a ship. He sees us coming, he'll run for sure. But he doesn't know you. Go kill him and his men. We'll make sure no one asks why. So, where is my journal? Here. Both Atherendil and Miran can provide a way into Kirkwall. So Atherendil wants to get the coin and the other one wants me to find and kill Lord Friedrich. So which one should I do? I mean I just really want to shake down that merchant. I guess I'm doing that. I'm back. Greetings once again, Sarah. Have you come to trade? I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. I want to hear this. So, Ethenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. Hmm. 
Aveline? Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. Ooh. You have a choice. Pay, or I beat it out of you and your men. Hey! Stay back. Just uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. Hmm. All right. Have a little like that. Merchant key. What is a merchant key? What do I need that for? I don't know. I'm just gonna give this stuff to her. Here you go. As requested. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Alright, so I'm a smuggler now. So much fun. Oh, he. Should I raise my constitution a little bit? What is this? Rock armor, stone fist. There is. Oh, I can I can have that one. Not yet. Requires level five. Pyromancy can't have it either. Can I? Oh, I can have it. Uh, long practice with fielding wield with wielding flame. Increases all fire damage that make is uh, including basic attacks from fire staff. Oh, I just kind of want that, but I really like this, so I'm taking it. I do have fire staff, right? Yes, I didn't change it. Great. So I can go to the city then, I guess. I got us in. Any luck? Yes. They've agreed to help us. I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. The blight may still spread, but for now we have a new home. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. Let's just see what happens. We have a long year ahead of us. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt, made a name for herself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. but. Most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Stays tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best, and we're... No! You're too late. Already done. The money from this trip could fix everything. You need us. We fought Darkspawn. Look, precious. I don't care if you tore the horns off an ogre with your bare hands. You make him understand. We're running from your bloody Templars. I know how you feel. 
but will earn no favors with your fist in his face. Then we do nothing, as always. <laughs> My brother can be hot-headed, but we do have the skills to benefit your expedition. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. Well, back to waiting for someone to turn us in. Bro, why am I so mean to him? You can relax. After all, the Templars dogging us are mine. Did I sound that bad? Maker, I'm turning into Gamlin. Gamlin? He's got a head for this garbage. Maybe he can talk to Bartrand. He knows some people. After last week, we need all the coin and influence we can get. He got us into the city, more or less. If there's a chance, he can push Bartrand. Worth checking, I guess. What else can we do? We're losing ground, and I don't fancy waking up in the gallows. who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the Merchant's Guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. Ooh. Off you go. How do you do? Varric Tethrus, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You're part of Bartrand's venture. That's right. The deep roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. You must have heard of my brother as well, then. A little, yes. But it is you they speak oh, most boy. of, Messer. That figures. Oh, your that's why he hates me so much. to join us by all means, but I'll leave that in your hands. Oh, I'm going. Without this expedition, we won't last out the year. You're a little too smooth. I wonder what it says with um Oh, let's just say that. You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. Oh boy. The truth is Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. All right. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tie with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. It sounds interesting, but if I had any gold, I wouldn't need this job. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Come on. The dwarf makes some sense. No offense. Look, you started this. And it's a good idea. 
Suddenly better than ending up in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? Hmm. All right, I'll do it. You have a deal. Perfect. Kirkwall's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Sure. Easy. But... Maybe Aveline's got some bounties out. She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Keep a hand on your coin, you Hawk. There are more cut purses in Hightown than in the rest of the city combined. Okay, so now Eric is part of my crew, which is really nice. I love Eric's character. It's just so great. So great. So now I can have this one. I really would want to have that one, though. Next level, I can have it. It's so next level. Ah, uh, hmm. This is always the same problem. Like, what do I want to do? So this is... Okay. Hmm. There is this is like a it requires micromanaging so that when you're fighting someone with uh this type of damage then you switch this on and then you switch this on normally. Adamant deep and defensive arts not bad resistance, but this requires both of those and this is magic resistance i don't know how much is there like magic users battle master bolster stamina regeneration but this is is this activity yeah and rally boosting stuff this is also activated what else is in here Battle synergy. That was pretty less interesting. Deep reserves, mana, stamina, regeneration, ray plus, and that is pretty good. So maybe I maybe I go this way. Uh, he is a rogue. He's all in cunning for now. Bianca, specialist, uh, precision, power, harmony, stealth, evade, subtly ambush. Those are obviously probably very good. Uh, friendship is attack speed and dodge chance, and this is stealth chance. Well oiled. Yeah, I can't have those for a while. This was the specialist, so I'm just not going here with that one. All right. All right. So now we have him and we have to get 50 sovereigns. Which there is worthly, worth, worthy. It's worthy. Mr. Worthy. To Pluming Rose. My count key, so I have to go there. This is Sebastian. Huh. Watch yourself. We don't want trouble here. Oh, this is actually a market. I can actually buy something, maybe. Hubert? Hello. Another Ferelden Street rat. Oh, wow. Are you here to waste my time, or do you actually have coin to spend? Wait, see how time. <laughs> Are you an armorer? A weaponsmith? My stock is varied. 
What all my wares have in common, however, is quality. Only the best for my distinguished patrons. See for yourself. Ah, uh, where do I see? Do I just go to your chest? Okay, so that's how it works. So this is buying and this is selling. Where did I get these? Oh, this was... No, this is Carver's story. It's probably having it on right now. Um, fire damage, 12 armor. I don't even have, like, I have four silver. I can't even buy anything. Just liar's charm. Puzzle ring. A very interesting stuff. Tome of Technique. Uh, one point to spend on talent. All right, 21 gold. Ooh. I probably need health potions, but I can't afford even them. I have some junk. I'm just gonna sell junk. There you go. High, high quality stuff. There you go. What do you have? Oh boy. Vibrant scale gone. Let's. There is some really nice stuff. I really shouldn't be even checking this out because I want to buy it all and I can't afford it. Eh? You know, Junior, it's eerie how much resemblance there is between you two. She's my sister. Of course there's a resemblance. Oh, you thought I meant Hawk. I was talking about Gamlin. Make her I hate you, dwarf. Oh. Hawk, long time no see, my friend. Worthy. When did you get back into town? Oh, uh, just a month or so ago. Things didn't work out in Orzammar. You aren't still working for Athenral, are you? Your year must be up by now. I'm looking to become an explorer of a sort. I heard. Bartran's hard to take, but his information is usually good. Hard to take? <laughs> That's putting it mildly. I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. Don't get dead. <laughs> Order runes. I just oh I need Lurian Silverade, Oricalcum, Dragon's Blood, and then I can order Rune. Alright, oh, so this is a little bit different thing. Hmm. And there is that Sebastian guy. Who is he and what does he want? Avalon is there. Where is this guy? Oh, right there. Devastated if I don't find Sebastian. Stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. A spicy guy. Uh, some people say that that's by the way DLC guy. And some people are hoping that he's gonna pop right back into the game at Dragon Age 4. So we'll see once that thing comes out. GT. A grave crime was committed against all free thinking men and women in free marches. The ruling wealth family in Starkhaven, my family, was brutally murdered down to the youngest babe in arms. This massacre was carried out by members of the Flint Mercenary Company. Isn't this like the other option that I could have chosen? Would I have been doing this murder if I went to work with them? That, that's really interesting. I hereby offer a bounty on the head of each fleeing company soldier in the Kirkwall vicinity. I, I accept. Alright. 
There is Chandri. Do I want to go see Chandri? Let's go check out Chandri. You know, Junior, you're looking at this all wrong. Whatever it is you're about to say, I'm not interested. I'm a professional younger brother. Trust me, the center of attention's the worst place to be. When things go wrong, and they always do, that's where all the fingers point. Look at any kingdom in Thetis. You've got people who warm thrones, and people nobody sees who do the real work. And my sister is a queen in this scenario. Perfect. Point? Missing it. Yeah. Oh, well. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Is Liliana in this game? So that it may reach Can't remember. Harwollen. Occupy North. So there is a lot of... stuff to read. Codex stuff. I keep saying it, always keep saying it. I should really read it sometime. There is nothing in this room. That statue is pretty crazy. There was a statue like that. Kind of like a temple like this in ancient Athens. It's pretty incredible, like how must have it looked like to those people back at the time. A huge statue of some goddess. Probably Athena. You know, that would make sense. I think it was on Acropolis. That would make sense also. There it is. Really nice. There was absolutely nothing here for us. Oh, 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 wait a minute. There is a Hammer, Low Town, Gallant's House. There is also Mail. And then a White Oak Keep, where I'm supposed to be actually going. There is Jandry, High Town. And then there is a Nine Map. Dogs. There is something on Dogs. Duty. Oh. And then there is this. Oh, duty is outside also. One way home. Sun or mom. Okay. Well, I'm going high town because I need to go talk to Aveline. I think I'm going to end this episode over fairly soon. And just start the next episode by talking with Aveline. So I'm just going <laughs> to... My, those weapons look sharp. Who are you? And Andraste did say, those who harm a house of the Maker have done harm unto the Maker himself. <clears throat> okay. Have a nice day. Have you seen a dog? Small, with a blue curl about her neck. There's actually a dog somewhere here. What's in there? Oh, my rose. Ah. Uh, there's so much people talking about everything. I'm gonna end this episode right here. Next episode, I'm gonna just go talk with Aveline and get the mercenary stuff. And then I'm just gonna start doing things. Because I need 50 sovereigns and I need more than that. I need like 100 sovereigns because I want to buy stuff. I think I get some DLC stuff. Like it may be waiting at Gumlin's house because there is like DLC weapons and armor, I think, but I don't know if I want to use those because they might kind of break the game. So we'll see next episode. Next episode is going to be so much fun. So I see you there. Bye.